What is up you guys? It is Coach Paul here from Rise Above here in Shorewood and I'm here to educate you on some nutrition. Now, I think one of the things that when we're all stuck in this quarantine is, is we tend to gravitate towards junk food or processed food, mostly because it's available, it's convenient, we don't have to make it, so that's where our brain tends to go to when we're being a little bit lazy. Now, here's the problem, and what I've discovered in the last two weeks is that processed foods, besides the fact that it makes me go to the bathroom like Mount Vesuvius, is that nutrition labels are really tricky. And if you don't know what you're looking for or you don't know what exactly is um, behind the nutrition label, you could be making some huge mistakes. That being said, I'm gonna basically show you guys the difference between potato chips and white potato, which is technically the same thing, but you can see how going through the whole processing can affect it. Now, I took these numbers off of a generic potato chip. The serving size is only 28 grams. For those who don't know, 28 grams is relatively about 12 chips or so. Calories for those 12 chips is sitting at 160. There's 10 grams of fat, two grams of protein, and 15 grams of carbs. When you look at these numbers at first glance, they're really not too bad until you look at a white potato, which is the same thing as a regular potato chip, just less processed. A serving size for a small white potato is 170 grams. So you guys can see, even just between the serving size, this is six times as much volume of food as the potato chips. Calories for your white potato is only 130. So six times the serving size for 30 less calories is because when they go through the frying process, they're putting a bunch of fat into that potato. Notice on this one, you only have 0.2 grams of actual total fat. Protein sitting at 3.4 3.4 grams and carbs sitting at 30 grams. Now I did you all the favor of scaling this nutrition label six times so that you can see if we were to eat the, an equivalent amount serving size of potato chips compared to white potato and look at the actual calorie difference. If you look at the serving size, if I multiply all of these numbers by six, you're eating 170 grams of actual potato chips, which comes out to roughly just shy of a thousand calories with 60 grams of fat, 12 grams of uh, protein, and 90 grams of carbs. Now, if you guys notice, this is the same amount of total volume, total quantity of food, but yet here we have an additional mm, 900 calories. And honestly, it's really not hard to eat this. Most people and some people that I work with in person, sometimes their metabolism is only 1,500 calories. So if you're eating 1,000 calories of potato chips, it's really easy to overeat. And that's really what the problem with processed foods is, is if you're not paying attention, that hyper palatable food can end up blasting your calories for the day and people don't even realize it. Now, that being said, I learned this the hard way by actually doing it for you. Now, that being said, I wanna make sure that you guys understand this, is that processed foods do have their place, but it is not something that you want to eat a lot of. I'm not saying processed foods are bad because if you were to eat this serving size of processed foods, that's technically equivalent to a regular white potato. But don't go beyond that number. Once you start going above and beyond your serving sizes or maybe one or two serving sizes, dangerous things can happen and it can make you eat or overeat way too many calories. 